Springfield, Illinois. A couple glares at their computer screen, knowing the baby pictures of their eldest son are now lost forever. They couldn't afford to pay the $700 ransom. In Dixon County, the sheriff's office pays $622 in bitcoins. With lives in the balance, there was no option but to pay. In Bern, Switzerland, Marie sits at a coffee shop, eyes glued to her laptop screen. An image of a bright red padlock stares back at her as she reads the assailant's demands. How did things get so bad? Let's take a step back and see how it all started. Malware has been around since the dawn of the internet, and in short, is software created for malicious purposes. Malware spreads to computers via spam emails, misleading links, fake software updates, and through exploiting vulnerabilities in web browsers and popular software. A decade ago, a new and particularly sinister type of malware emerged. In 2005, Russian criminals created the first ransomware, detected as Trojan Cryzip. It was a crude parasite, which zipped and password protected a user's personal documents. The user would then find the ransom note on their desktop. Fast forward to 2012. Ransomware exploded across Europe and North America, posing as law enforcement alerts accusing victims of piracy, terrorism, and even child pornography. The victims were then urged to pay a $200 fine or face criminal charges. In 2013, ransomware makers were already extracting more than $3 million per year from their victims. Then, CryptoLocker was released, and the stakes quadrupled almost overnight. CryptoLocker represented a totally new family of malware, which encrypts a user's photos, documents, and other personal files with a uniquely customized secret key. These files could only be restored by paying a ransom to obtain the secret key. On January 10, 2015, the FBI made an official statement that ransomware was on the rise, emphasizing that a new ransomware variant, CryptoWall, was encrypting users' files and charging anywhere from $200 to $5,000 in bitcoins to restore them. The FBI did not provide any viable solutions for decryption. In 2016, more than $15 million has already been extorted from users. A vicious parasitic cycle has begun. Most users opt to pay. Every time a victim pays the ransom, the malware creator receives the funds. Naturally, some of this money is reinvested into the development cycle, and crypto ransomware gets progressively smarter more effective and harder to defeat. And thus, the cycle continues. So what should you do? Take the initiative and back up your data to protect yourself. While modern antivirus programs can protect you against the majority of threats, many cutting-edge malware variants are able to easily slip through the cracks in antivirus security defenses. There has never been an AV program that can block every threat all the time. The only thing that can guarantee your security and peace of mind is a solid backup plan. Protect yourself, and most importantly, protect your data. This will rob the malware makers of their income and erode the ransomware model from its core. Get serious about your online security. Protect yourself with advanced anti-malware software with heuristic capabilities. Create a backup plan to make sure that your important data is safe. Store a backup of your most critical data offline or with a secured cloud backup service. Make sure your operating system and applications are up to date. Use caution when opening email attachments and don't click unsolicited email links. Get secure. Be safe. Stay up to date.